Hey, how's it going? This is Chris, and today we're going to be looking at how to set up a Gatsby project with Tailwind CSS. So if you haven't heard of Tailwind yet, uh, it's a really cool styling framework. So you can use it with CSS, you can use it with SAS, you can use it with styled components, or you can just use it on its own. But it's basically kind of like a, a less opinionated version of something like a, a bootstrap or a material UI where you're able to easily update styles with uh, class names, but you don't have the kind of structure and decisions made for you around like default styling of buttons or interactivity, things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've got a just a default Gatsby starter project open here called Tailwind. Um, and this is just, again, using that default starter. So um, if you're using something different, some of these directions might be a little bit different, but I'll try and point you in the right direction if you're using something a little bit different of a setup. So uh, I'm going to link to the documentation that I'm looking at in the description here. Um, but first, I'm looking at the Gatsby website their docs on tailwind css and you'll see that there are actually three options for configuring tailwind with your project depending on what you're using so the standard way is just to use post css which is what we're going to be doing you could also use a, a css and js configuration so if you're somebody that uses something like style components for example and then the last the third option is for folks that use sas uh, there's a way to integrate um, Tailwind with SAS projects. So I mentioned uh, we're going to be using option one, but regardless of which option you're using, the first thing that you need to do is install Tailwind. So I'm going to do a yarn add dash dash dev uh, Tailwind CSS. So make sure you install this, whether you're using yarn or NPM as a dev dependency. So we'll get that going. And now here's where it kind of forks depending on your option. So I mentioned again, uh, post CSS is the route we're taking. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the post CSS Gatsby plugin. So it's yarn add or npm install dash dash save Gatsby plugin post CSS. And then we're going to go ahead and hop into our Gatsby config. I actually already have it added there. So you just open up uh, some backticks and then Gatsby plugin post CSS. And then once you save that, make sure you have the comma there. Once you save that, then you won't need to touch Gatsby config for this setup anymore. So you can close it. The next thing that we're going to do is create a new file in the root directory. So make sure you're outside of source. A new file called postcss.config. And again, I'm just getting this from the Gatsby docs here. So it's module.exports. open up parentheses and curly braces, and then it's just a plugins array with one requiring of Tailwind. And then you can save that, and then that file is done as well. Um, something optional that we're actually gonna do as well is adding a a Tailwind config file. Uh, so if you run npx Tailwind init, it's going to create this file for you, which can let you customize some of your themes. And I'll give you a couple of examples of how to do that. So Tailwind comes with a lot of stuff just pre-packaged, but if you want to customize even further, and typically this comes into play with like um, a lot of times with like colors, like background colors or font colors, things like that. 
you'll be able to to deal with that all all here. Things like um, spacing, like margin padding, those sorts of things can also be adjusted in this Tailwind config file. So we'll come back to that a little bit later and I'll show some examples. So the last little bit of setup here, if you're using the default Gatsby starter, then these directions uh, will apply to you. If you're using a different starter, then you might have to do a little digging. So I'm gonna be looking in this layout.js file. This layout is a wrapper that's gonna go around all of our components uh, and ensure consistent uh, look and feel. So it's gonna include your header, so like your nav bar, and then some default styling that's gonna wrap the rest of the content, including the footer. And it's gonna include this on every page so you have a nice consistent website. If you're only using one page, this isn't as relevant, but just a heads up where I'm looking. So what you're looking for is your default CSS file that it's importing. So for, for us, it's layout CSS. If yours is something different, then you'll want to check that out. You might have like, if you have like a, like an index file somewhere, um, checking on the import there. But basically what you're, you're looking for is where is your, like, where's your main CSS being imported? So since it's layout CSS here, I'm going to go into my layout CSS. I'm going to add the directives, the tailwind directives. And so that's going to be tailwind base at tailwind components and at tailwind utilities. And so these are all added in our layout. And so now we should be able to use uh, tailwind to style up our project. So I'm going to open up the pages here. And I already ripped out the, the main content that Gatsby comes prepackaged with. And I just put an H1 with homepage there. And so starting up the dev server. And it should open up on localhost 8000 here when it's done. Cool, so there's homepage. So similar to, again, if you've used something like Bootstrap before, just adding class names can set up your styling for you. So notice that home page turned red. And I'm getting this from the Tailwind CSS docs, which, again, I have linked in the description. So let's say that you want to have, uh, you want to have this centered up so we can do text center and now it's in the middle of the page let's say we want to have it super huge we could have text for xl or maybe it's font for xl three what? there we go so um there are different text sizes that you can do uh, colors, you can do different spacing. If I want to put padding on this and, um, you know, let's go with some huge padding, 24 here. You can see that it's scooted down the page. And if I inspect this, you can see all that padding around. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty powerful. Something else that I really like about Tailwind is that it makes, um, the whole like responsive design piece super easy. So let's say that I only want this text to be read on uh, large devices. I can do LG in colon and then text red. And so it's black now and if I were to make it bigger, you can see that it turned to red. So there it's red and there it passes by that breakpoint and goes back to black. So there's a lot of stuff that you can mess around with there. I also mentioned that you have that Tailwind config file, which is great for, um, you know, if you've used like variables in SAS or CSS before, 
you can think of it kind of similarly where as opposed to going in and like typing in text read 700 and then you're in a file it's like wait was it 700 or 600 or maybe you don't exactly love the colors that you're getting out of the box with tailwind what you can do is inside of this theme object um, I'm gonna go ahead and do text color and it's gonna take in the theme Put a comma there to get rid of that error. And then let's say that I want to have like a primary like brand color. And let's say we'll do 397E89. Now I got to wrap that in quotes. And this should be in quotes as well. I got to extend the, oh no, that's good. Okay. Um, one thing that I forgot to add here is <clears throat> I have to use that spread operator. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm take I'm, I'm making sure that the theme still includes all of the default colors that it comes with. And then I'm adding one on called primary. And so now if I do text instead of and let's drop this to medium so now it's red because it hit that medium breakpoint if i do text primary then it updates it to that primary color that i put in my uh, tailwind config here so that primary color same thing just to show you a different example if i have secondary this will be kind of a purple color. And if I go to uh, my index and I do text secondary, secondary, now you've got that purple. And so those are some cool ways to kind of tweak uh, the different default color schemes that you get and you can do this with any of the properties that Tailwind gives you. So all of the spacing, all of the colors, background colors, uh, they're cool options as far as like using flex, display properties, hiding elements, using visibility. Uh, it's really powerful and really comprehensive and they do a good job too. I mentioned that it's not super opinionated right out of the box, but they do a good job of, you know, say you want to see an example of how somebody built a form with different inputs and drop downs and things like that. They have some examples of different components that people have put together and it's, it's really helpful. So um, that's pretty much it uh, for Gatsby using the post CSS option out of the box to configure it with Tailwind. Super powerful. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Again, I'll leave the links to both the Gatsby docs that talk about setting it up with Tailwind as well as the Tailwind documentation itself. So thanks for watching along and I'll see you next time.